G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. I'm in the studio tonight and I'm a little bit sweaty, sorry, so my head is super shiny underneath the lights up on the roof. Um, very quick video. I, we've been posting a lot on the uh, Australian Middle Earth SBG Facebook group, whatever it's called. I'll put a link in the description um, about the Middle Earth strategy battle game, Lord of the Rings by Games Workshop. Absolutely loving it right now. If you're following me on, on Facebook, uh, on my Rubbish In Rubbish Out page, you'll know that I've been going absolutely crazy. Just did another 24 hour challenge with my friend Ed. I painted up a whole load of my uh, Serpent Horde for my Harad army. Um, Harad? 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 Whatever. Anyway, on that Facebook group, someone had asked me how I do my bases because I'd showed some you know, rock outcroppings and some ancient ruins that are made from Hearthstarts blocks and stuff, and they'd asked me. What, I, uh, what did I use for the bases? I always use 3mm MDF and I bevel off the edges quite strongly. So I thought I'd show you what I do and then I can tag that guy and say, hey, this is what I do. So there we go. Let's have a look. Okay, so the process is pretty sh straightforward. I've got a base here that I cut out on a jigsaw. You know, we do quite often just cut big, uh, you know, runs of these on the lasers. So we've got loads of bases just hanging around. Nice sharp knife. I use the Stanley Fat, Fat Max. Um, Make sure it's sharp makes it much easier. You are cutting towards yourself, so just be aware that you need to be aware of what you're doing. Now, I put my knife at quite a strong angle, and I just shave away at it. I've got a bin down here on the floor. And it's, it's as simple as that. If you've got a nice, nice sharp knife, you'll be fine. You know, most accidents with knives happen because the knife is blunt. That's when your knife slips, because it, it's not cutting. You can't grab hold of anything. And this is all I do. I just go around it and just take off, you know, there we go. It's got a nice little bevel on the edge. And, uh, you know, there's still enough there to uh, Uh, make sure that you know our terrain's going to be okay, but you know I don't really don't really go too much more than you know about a millimeter on the edge, and we get that nice soft slow gradient up onto the terrain. That's it. So this is what our base looks like, pretty much on the tabletop. You know you get that nice profile. Here's a piece of three mil just for you know reference. You get that nice, slow, gradual slope up onto the terrain. Super easy, don't need to worry about sanding anything, don't need a mask, nothing like that. Don't need belt sanders, don't need anything. Just a nice sharp knife and slowly shave it away and keep your hands out of the way and your body back and you'll be fine. So this is one of those ruined pieces that uh, I'd put up on the SBG group. And you can see we're pretty much at table level and you can see it comes up really nice off the edge of the table. Now this has been, you know, there's sculptor mold on this, it's, it's heavily textured, you know, there's a lot of undulation in this piece. Um, but you can see, you know, it's coming up nicely off the edge. So there we go, nice and quick and easy. That's how I've been doing my bases for years and years and years. Um, and I've never really had any trouble uh, with, with them at all, you know. But blends nicely to the table, quick, super easy to do. And um, yeah, there we go. Hope you found that useful, interesting, who knows. I'll come back soon. I've been building a brand new swamp table here at the studio uh, to uh, you know, represent the dead marshes kind of thing. I don't know. I, you know I, th I was watching The Hobbit the other day. In fact, I've watched it a couple of times since then. And you know, at the beginning of the movie when they're leaving Erebor and the dwarves are you know, crossing out across the swamp, I thought that would be a great table to do. So keep an eye out for that. Full table build coming soon. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. See ya.